What is up guys, it is Nick. We are here to start up, I don't know why I have my mic down like this, <laughs> to start up Final Fantasy XIV. I am so excited to start this off. I took the liberty of creating the character so you guys did not have to sit through that. Trust me, you didn't want to, it took me a little too long to do. But we'll run through it. So race and gender, we are Aura female. We are in the Rayan clan. Custom appearance, obviously. This is the appearance. I mean, if you need to see more, there, there it is. There's the custom appearance. Name day is the fifth son of the fifth umbral moon. Five is my favorite number, so that's why I picked that. Menfina is our guardian. That was the lover, guardian of love or whatever. I don't know what those do, but that's what I picked. Uh, class is the Thaumaturge or the Olda. And so that's what I picked for that. Homeworld is Excalibur. And the name is Ragazza Maganera. I have no idea if I pronounced that right. It's Italian. It's Italian for Dark Magician Girl, which you can tell by the thumbnail. But I can't put that, and she doesn't have a real name. So I decided to take a foreign version of it, and Ragazza Maganera sounds pretty good. I think it sounds pretty cool, so that's why I'm doing it. But it's time. It's time. It is time to start Final Fantasy XIV. If any of the audio is too loud or anything like that, it will get fixed in the next episode and we'll go from there. My goal is to play about an hour of this a day. I want to record it all, but I don't know if I want to put up hour-long episodes every day. And obviously I'll play like two hours one day and none the next day. So I'm not quite sure with videos how I'm going to do this or not. I did buy... I did buy the uh, complete edition, so I have all of the extras. Let me turn my light here a little bit. Um, I have all the extras for this. The Stormblood, Heaven Swords, and a Realm Re obviously base Realm Reborn. So we have all of that. Goal is to get to all of it before the new Stormbringer comes out in July. Um, I really like how this game works. Yeah. Yeah. Feel. noticed I had things blocking. If you wanted to know, I have some Marzetti Ranch because I've been eating these pepper sticks. Which low-key are actually pretty good. As I like talk about something important during an epic cutscene. I think I'm gonna love this game. I don't know. I don't know. I've really loved ESO, what I played of it, and I've really loved Black Desert, so this just looks like more my style. I don't know. I love Black Desert, though, so I don't really know. Hey, hey, you. It's, I have to do all the reading, which we all know is gonna result in me saying some dumb stuff. Y'all right, lass? You were moaning something fierce for a while there. Feeling the effects of the Aphir, I reckon. You'll get used to it, though. Don't worry. Oh man, this is gonna this is gonna be good. You there, halt! It's like my own little custom Final Fantasy world. What's all this about? Inspection. Men, search the carriage. I 
I'm just an honest peddler, friend. So, uh, don't be too disappointed if you don't find anything, eh? Why would you say that? Mind your tongue, old man, lest I cut it off. Sir, look. Somnus. Honest peddler, was it? Since when do honest peddlers deal in prohibited herbs? You're in a lot of trouble, old man. You'll rot in a dungeon till the end of your days unless you can afford the fine. <sighs> Business as usual. Um, hello? Amulja, Amulja, to arms, to arms! Seven Hells, consider this a warning. Now go, all of you. No, I thought... It I skipped all the cutscenes, so I didn't know if this was like... I can get a little tutorial. I like skipped everything to get to testing audio. I'm like super pumped for this. I know I'm not going to get to do much here in this first episode, but man, I'm excited. Okay, you're just going to skip dialogue without letting me read it? I didn't even cl click a button. You, be careful. Round them brass blades, lass. Bastards will have the shirt off your back if they fancy it. Like the common bandits they are, only less honest. Thank gods for sending some beast men to the rescue, eh? Hey, seeing as we've still got a long ride ahead, you mind keeping me company till we arrive? Them youngins don't much care for conversation, see? I, I can see. Brent's the name. And peddlings me trade. Brent's, Brent's the name and peddlings me trade. I actually knew it. There's actually uh, the HR guy where my mom works. His name is Brent, and he spells it exactly like that. It's such a weird way to spell Brent. He spells it like... Okay, let me preface this. He spells it Brent, B-R-E-N-T, but his birth name is Brent. And it's B-R-E-N-D-T. I would also change my name to Brent B-R-E-N-T for everything. And judge him by your usual garments, I'll wager you're one of them new adventurers. Why are you an adventurer in every game? Black Desert, you're an adventurer. In Skyrim, or in ESO, you're an adventurer. It's just... Come on. Come on, online. Come on, MMORPGs. Can we get something other than just, we're an adventurer? I knew it. Going wherever the wind blows. Seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call living. So long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventuring's a risky business these days, especially. What was it that first attracted you to it? Um, let's go... If I, if I was an adventurer and these were my three options, glory, power, power, fortune, or fame, really. Uh... I'm gonna go glory. I'm gonna go glory. <laughs> glory, eh? Well, if you're willing to take on them tasks as other folks ain't, adventurers such as yourself can win fame with fame what coin can't buy. When you arrive in town, you'll want to report to the Adventurers Guild. You can find out everything you need to know about the adventuring business in there. Just remember, though, there are more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and, and that's a fact. By the by, is this your first trip to Ulda? Yes, it is. I would like a tutorial, please. It is. Well, then, let's this let this journey itinerant, 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 it's itinerant. <laughs> Tell you the ins and outs of your destination. Never seen itinerant before. Ulda is ruled by the Sultana in name, but as most folks know, the Syndicate holds all the real power. Them and their monetarist cronies would happily get rid of her grace altogether, but that won't happen while she still commands the loyalty of the Royalists, and the Royalists are nothing if not loyal. These factions have long fought over power, throw in the weight of the wealth or weight of their wealth against each other, and they show no sign of stopping. Of course, the Lizardmen, that's the Amulja, couldn't care less about Ulda and politics. They have their own interests, see? And they ain't afraid to use force to serve them. They say war is a gift to peddlers, need breed and profit, and though it shames me to say it, I'm inclined to agree. Siri, what are you doing? 
Siri. Look, 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 Siri just... I don't know what I said, but Siri decided it was time to pop up. They say war is a gift to peddlers, need breed and profit, and though it shames me, I already read that. Siri got me all confused. Ah, at long last. Behold Ulda, jewel of Thanalan, where folk turn sand into gold. All right. Deep in the sun-baked south, surrounded by the shifting sands of an endless desert, she rises. A solitary rose amidst the dust and rock, a symbol of defiance. Her name, Ulda. Hey, at least I pronounced it. Even with the coming of the seventh umbral era, Hope springs eternal for the mongers and merchants who vie for lost fortunes in this bustling oasis. As the twin faces of Nold Thal maintain their vigil over all that has been and shall be, the present proffers a brave soul. One whose arrival could mark the beginning of a new era of prosperity for the realm. Ah, here's where we part ways, lass. I'm off to the markets to deliver me wares, then it's onto the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this, by way of thanks for putting up with me prattle. Can't tell me what he gave me? You never did tell me your name, though. Hey, but here's an idea. Become the sort of storied personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider us square. May the traders nurture our fortunes as they kindle the flames which burn within us all. For by fire are we reborn. I know my ca I think my character looks pretty- I'm happy! Usually I get to this, like, Final Fantasy 14, baby. But, um, I usually get to that screen where it's like a pan of their character, and I'm like, oh, man, I made a mistake here and there, ugh. But I actually like it a lot. I need to find a game where I can create Siri. It's not Black Desert. Maybe when- maybe Black Desert. But, but I'm getting my main... Actually, ESO, I don't have... I just... Uh, it makes sense. It was a logical choice. You guys haven't seen any of my ESO stuff. I've just been trying to speedrun that. Because I have less time to get to the end game for that, for elsewhere when that comes out. So I've just been purely speedrunning that. I'm, like, booking it through that game. We're going to take our sweet time with this. We got a whole extra month. Oi! Venturer! Over here! Hey, I mean you. Fresh off the carriage by any chance, eh? How can I tell? Heh. <laughs> Name's Wimmod, and my business is knowing every bugger's he bugger else's. Now then, what if I was to offer you some invaluable advice by way of val welcome to our fair city, free of charge, even just this once, like... All right. Welcome to Ulda, the shining beacon of prosperity rising from the deserts of Thalin. Thanalin? 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 Please select the control screen you wish to use. Controller. Follow the instructions to move your character and adjust the position of your camera. When you are ready, speak to Wimod or Wimod. Okay. So, ready the hotbar, right trigger left trigger readies the left side you can change your set i did play with this a little bit so set eight there we go yeah so set one and set eight are the only things we have up right now um the options obviously is the option button cycle through hud components is the touchpad 
cancel is circle, select nearest target is X, display, map, subcommands, jump and interrupt casting, move character camera obviously, cycle party members, cycle through targets, and move cursor. Holy crap, this is gonna be, this is a lot of stuff here. Close that. Gotta take a while to get used to this. Accepting quest. Once you've initiated a quest, a prompt will appear detailing its objectives and rewards. Press the accept button in the lower left to add the quest to your current current duties. So we'll close that out. Simple enough. Accept this quest. Tis plain to anyone with eyes that you don't know your way around here. If I let you go wandering off down the nearest dark alley, you're certain to get mugged or worse, and I don't want that on my conscience. So before you do anything else, you'll want to head over to the Quicksand and speak with Mamadi. She's the master of the Adventurers Guild and can set you on the right path. Just take those steps over yonder and pass through the double doors. You'll find her inside. And that's as much as you're getting for free. Good luck with the adventure and adventure. Quest accepted. You have begun a quest. Use the duty list to help you complete your task. Duty list. Upon accepting a quest, the current objectives will appear under the quest title, the duty list on the right side of the screen. Okay, so right under our mini-map. Nice. Pretty much the same as anything. I know my face cam is kind of blocking this, but I think this is a decent place. I might put it over the chat in the bottom, bottom right, or bottom left, right below me. Uh, upon accepting a quest, the current objectives will appear. I mean, we just read that. Oops. Hello? There we go. Selecting the title will open the quest in your journal, allowing you to view, view objectives and rewards. Okay. Okay, so there, okay. I, I got this now. So, if you tap this thing, you can go around the screen, and then I can click on this and pull it up. Awesome, okay. Okay, it all makes logical sense. Okay, initiating quest. Non-player... Uh, characters or NPCs offering quests can be recognized by the exclamation marks above their head. To bring up the quest window, speak with the NPC by first targeting them and then pressing the confirm button. Easy enough. I will. I really like that name. I think it looks cool above my head. Ragazza Maganera. Like no one's gonna understand that unless they speak Italian. Okay. Collecting rewards. Complete a quest by speaking to the NPC with a check mark displayed above their his or her head. Completing quests will earn a variety of rewards. Obviously, it's pretty much basic. But I would rather with these MMORPGs, the people get way too specific with like stuff they shouldn't have to, than get like way too vague. So I'm happy with them doing how they did it. So you double press X to interact with people. Why, hello there. Who might you be? If you're looking to join the Adventurers Guild, you come to the right place. Name's a Mamodi, and I own this fine establishment, if it pleases you. I also manage the Adventurers Guild here in Ulda, so you might say that looking after green adventurers like yourself is my vacation. And lucky for you that it, that it is. Without someone like me to steer you right, you'd soon find yourself out in the middle of nowhere, caught up in business you don't understand. Like our conflict with the Almaja, for example, they've been plaguing the Sultanate from nigh on. Oh, forever now. Then there's the Garlean Empire. None can say for sure what they're plotting these days, only that they are. Hey, the people drink and make merry, but underneath it all, there's worry. Worry and a lingering feeling of a loss. And little wonder, it's scarce been five years since the lesser moon cracked open like a giant egg, releasing an abomination intent on turning the realm into an eighth hell. So much was lost in the blink of an eye. T'was like the end of the world had come at last. But then things began to get foggy. Everyone's got their own version of what happened next, some of them two or three. 
you think people would remember something like that, but the fact is, they don't. Nobody does. There is one thing the survivors agree on, though. The part played by a band of adventurers who laid down their lives for a realm that wasn't their own. They fought valiantly, and like so many others, they need or they never return. Deeds worth remembering, I'm sure you'll agree. It's just a shame our recollections of those brave heroes are as jumbled as those of the calamity itself. Whenever we try to call their face to call their faces to mind, it's like they're standing between us and the midday sun, permanently silhouetted. I'll bet that sounds poetic to you, doesn't it? Well, it's not. It's bloody infuriating. But even if we can't remember them, we'll not let be, we'll not let them be forgotten, and so we call them the Warriors of Light. And they'll forever stand as a shining example of what adventurers can achieve. That's why I welcome new arrivals like yourself to our fair city. All I ask is that you lend a helping hand and try to leave Ulda in a better state than you found her. If you can promise that, I'd be happy to let you join the guild. I think I can do that. All right, then. A promise is a promise now. I'm counting on your help to put the past behind us. We need people working and spending and spending and bickering like the old days. And a happy and prosperous Ulda means more business for the quicksand, too. Any road, let's make this official. Go ahead and write your name in the register, neat as you can. Ragaza Maganero. Well, ain't that a charming name? Just rolls off the tongue. It, it does. Kind of does. Ragaza Maganero. I think that that sounds. It sounds. I I think it sounds good. That's all that matters. All right, Miss Maganera. On behalf of the Adventurers Guild, I officially. Please, sir, be merciful. Twelve as my witness. I swear to you, I'll bring you your money. In the East, it is said that even a merciful god might be driven to vengeance if thrice blasphemed. Be grateful you were given a fourth chance to offend. You two, attend to the scum. No, please, mercy. Well, ain't that a sorry sight. Nor an uncommon one, if I'm honest. Don't worry, though. If you work hard, I doubt you'll end up like him. Just the same, if you ever need a bit of advice about one thing or another, pay me a visit. Just don't go bothering me every time you stub your bloody toe, alright? Of course, I do enjoy hearing a lady muse on the many manhoods of her acquaintance from time to time. Any road, welcome to Olda, Ragaza. Take a moment to catch your breath, and I'll teach you a little about our fair city. Oh boy, it's time for some more reading. All right, quest completed. Nice. So now we need to sweep to Mamodi. This concludes the introductory game. What game tutorial was that? You have taken the first step of the adventure in the city of Ulda. Listen well to the wisdom of Mamodi. Mamodi Modi. Then go forth and discover the incredible adventures that await you. All right. Mamodi, the proprietress of the quicksand, wants you to perform three tasks that will help you learn the fundamentals of adventuring. Sounds like a plan. Before you go charging off to find your fortune, I have a few tasks I'd like you to perform so as to help you get to, to know the place. First of all, I want you to visit the Aetherite Plaza. To get there, head west from here until you reach Emerald Avenue, then look to the north. You should see a giant floating crystal called the Aetherite. Aetherite? If it weren't for Aetherites, traveling around Erosa would be a damn sight for troublesome than it is. Sight more troublesome than it is. Of course, you'll still need to attune with them or with them before you can use them, so be sure to do that with the one in the plaza. You ever attuned with an Atherite before, Regaza? If not, just lay your hand on the thing and you'll see what I mean. When you're done with that, I want you to pay a visit to the Thaumaturg's Guild over at Arzaneth Ossuary. Assuming that Scepter ain't just for show, you might consider training there. And finally, I want you to visit Sapphire Avenue Exchange over on the steps of Thal. Goods from all across Arosa and beyond turn up there every day. You'll have no trouble finding armor, weapons, or anything else a fledgling adventurer like yourself might need. You might say there's everything for sale here in Olda, as long as you've got the gill. Just make sure as make sure as you don't pay more than you ought to Regaza. 
There's plenty as you won't scruple to, to swindle unsuspecting foreigners like yourself, especially if they think no one's looking out for their best interests, which is why I'm giving you this letter. When you visit the exchange, find a gentleman named Ciceroga and give it to him. He'll be happy to tell you about the markets once he's read it. In short, then, visit the At The Right Plaza, the Thaumaturgs Guild, and a Sapphire Avenue exchange. Simple. Oh, but before you go, a word of advice. While there's more than a few unsavory characters out there who will try to take advantage of you, there are also some with honest-to-goodness problems who you should consider offering a helping hand to. A lot of folk are lured to the city by the promise of wealth and power. What many of them fail to realize is that instead of chasing after Gil the moment they get here, they ought to be making friends. Let it be known that you're willing to give as much as you can, and opportunities will come your way. Speaking of which, you should speak with Smith over yonder. Those lads always have some good advice for up-and-coming adventures. Otherwise, that's about it from me. It's past time you got going. Oh, and let me know when you've finished, will you? That way I won't spend my days worrying that you're down to your small clothes without guild your name. Nice little awkward wave. All right, quest complete. All right, well, it's loading or whatever it's doing. I'm going to move my web or my, my webcam, my face cam down to the bottom left here. We don't need to see that anyway. Oh my gosh, the lag when I'm moving it. I think that looks good. No, it's too high can't see because of the red bars there we go all right so now we can continue smith how you doing buddy no not no 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 not you stop it i got a smith greetings i am one of the smiths a stoker of fires and forger of it futures as a dedicated member of the adventurers guild i have been entrusted with the task of providing assistance to new adventurers I see you have but recently taken up the Adventurer's Mantle. The possibilities stretching out before you must be positively daunting. In the Adventurer's Guild, we see new adventurers as fledgling heroes. You are our champions of tomorrow, our nascent stars of limit limitless potential. My fellow Smiths and I are here to provide you with guidance, but the Guild also enlists a cadre of veteran adventurers who will be happy to share with you their accumulated wisdom. You can recognize these helpful men and women by their title of Mentor. Mentor stand by or stand ready to advise you on any aspect of adventuring. They have hundreds of quests under their belt and will likely have a solution for whatever dilemma might be causing you trouble. A mentor may even offer to accompany you on your adventures. I highly recommend that you take advantage of a mentor's aid to enrich your experience in Eros... in... Eorzea? Eorzea? Pray do not hesitate to ask me if you'd like to know more. New adventure stash is applied to all players who have recently begun their adventures in Eorzea. Amongst Erosia's thriving population, there are seasoned players known as mentors who have taken it upon themselves to assist these new adventurers. When a new adventurer and mentor form a party, they both receive a bonus to experience points earned. Upon invitation by a mentor, new adventurers also gain access to the Novice Network, an exclusive chat channel where they can consult with the mentors and share their experiences with other beginning players. Okay, pretty much got all of that. Okay, so look at all of this different. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be insane. Ring of Fidelity. Can I equip that? Yes, I can. How do I look? Can I look at my character? Ah, oh, there we go. We can see all the stuff we got equipped. Nice. Okay. So, okay. Whew, this is gonna get tough to remember all this. Chocobo saddlebags. We got all of that stuff. I don't have unlocked yet. Duties. Here we go. Journal. Beautiful. So those are quests right there. It's okay. So I'm hoping... I'm hoping there's a way to tell the difference between stuff. Hold on. Hello? How do I get this off my screen? Okay, since the armory system in Final Fantasy XIV allows you to change your class or job by simply changing the weapon or tool in your main hand, it's recommended that you always have several sets of gear on hand. However, gear can take up tremendous amount of space in one's inventory, which is why all adventurers carry an armory chest. 
All gear purchased, crafted, or found is automatically stored in this chest, leaving your inventory free to fill with other items such as potion, crafting materials, and food. Gear in your armory chest is categorized and sorted by type, and can be equipped or discarded directly from the chest interface. The armory chest can be accessed by any at any time by selecting character and okay, selecting armory chest. Okay. Main menu. The main menu grants quick and easy access to most of the game's main features, for example, selecting character, yeah, selecting journal under duties, plays the current, okay. If you wish to customize the game's various settings, including key bindings, HUD layout, system configuration, they can only be found under system, active help to redisplay these tutorial messages. Game progress is saved automatically, so there are no in-game save or load functions. However, to prevent data from being lost or corrupted, it is strongly recommended that you end each playing session by selecting Log Out or Exit Game from the menu. Sanctuaries. A crescent moon icon will appear to the right of your experience bar whenever you enter a sanctuary. While in the special area, you will accrue a rested bonus. The bonus will continue to grow even if you are offline. All experience earned through battle, crafting, and gathering while under the benefit of rest and bonus will be increased by 50%. Wait, how do I tell that? Will appear to the right of your experience. I don't even see my experience bar. Oh, it's down at the very bottom. Okay. 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 Makes sense. Your current rest of bonus is displayed on top of your experience bar. Huh? Current... For current rest of bonuses, the dark orange bar shows how much more experience can be earned before the bonus fades. If the bar is blue, it indicates your bonus will carry over to the next level. Inns in all three city-states, as well as various outposts and settlements, are classified as sanctuary. To maximize your experience earning potential, make it a habit to always log out in one of these areas. Okay. Navigation. Selecting a map from under travel in the main menu or pressing square on the controller will bring up the area map. If a quest objective is located in the, that area, it will be indicated with a special icon. The location of quest objectives can be also confirmed by selecting the objective in the duty list. Main scenario quest. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. This is awesome. So this is something that ESO did not do that pissed me off. There's no way to tell in ESO, unless I'm just stupid, whether or not you're doing a main quest, a side quest. There's a way to tell if it's a dungeon, but there's no way to tell if it's main or side, and it really bothers me. It's not in, like, Black Desert. You can tell what's the main and what's the side quest. It's, kind of, it's one of those things. Important quests used to tell the story of your Rosa and her people are called main scenario quests. These tasks are easily distinguishable from others by their unique icons. Quests using this icon indicate a task or series of tasks are tied to new duties or features you have yet to unlock. Okay, so... No more... How do I get out of this menu? What on earth? Can I... There we go. Okay. Okay, so if I remember anything about anything, going the, uh... You can tell... Actually, I don't know. Okay, on the mini-map. Okay, I can tell now. Okay, so... On the mini-map here... How do I... I guess... On the mini-map, you can pull it up and you can see where I need to go. So that's good. But then I don't know how to get... There we go. Let's talk to this dude. My apologies, man, but I'm not authorized to issue guild... Oh, okay, so this is guild dude. I wanted to know... Just because I'm a sucker, I want to know what I'm getting myself into. I'm a sucker for microtransactions and games I love. But I don't actually see any in this game. I assume they're somewhere, but I don't actually see them. Which is interesting. I'm sure they're here somewhere. And I'm sure I'll find them. And I'm sure I'll spend money. But, uh... Where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. I need to go this way be like walking around with my map up 24-7. Ah, there we go. That's how you move around the map. You get it selected. Oops. And then you can move it around like this. So, though... Actually, those are quests I have not completed. Or though... What am I saying? Those are quests... Okay, so you can see the little marker. So, like the arrowhead looking thing or like the stealth bomber looking thing, that's how you can tell... If it's a main quest. 
the so here are other Udal steps of Thal. I don't know. That's like a different quest, maybe. Now I'm confused. So this is okay. So uh, yeah, I guess that's different steps of Thal. Those are okay. Oh, that take you to okay. That takes you to new areas or different areas that connect. Okay, that's good. Okay, I know I know what I'm doing now. One of them must be in this area. Yeah, one of them's in this area. That's why it's telling me. And then, like, these other areas that I can look at, it doesn't tell me that, uh... It does Okay, okay. Starting to learn. I think that's gonna do it for this first episode. We did all the tutorial stuff. We got started. And, um... We're, we're getting started here in, in Final Fantasy XV. Uh, so that's gonna do it for this first episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed... I'm super happy to get this kicked off, and I will catch you all in the next episode of our playthrough of Final Fantasy XIV with Ragaza Maganera. So I'll catch you guys then. Peace!